and welcome to an episode of Big Bonding Brush. It's October, not to date myself, but October is my favorite month. I love it, and things get real spooky around here. Mm -hmm. Today, we are going to cover Paul Zizon, The Pyramid of Skulls. Ooh. Originally done in 1901. We're going to reproduce it today in 2020. Alrighty. Here we go. Oh, I never took my wrapper off my canvas. I'll talk to you about what you need while I'm doing that. Alright. So, we're working with acrylics and therefore we're going to need water. Beep. We're going to need acrylics. I have orange, yellow, green, brown, black, white, and blue. I guess the only color that I do not have is red and purple as a base or violet. I have an 11 by 14 canvas. I also have an easel. You can paint flat or you can paint on whatever your heart desires. Maybe you want to paint on the door. Um, and I also have a print off of the painting. I have a variety of paint brushes, a few flats, a few uh, rounds, I forgot my little super detail brushes, a uh, flat, kind of a spoogy round brush, and a fan brush. Number one fan. All right, napkins, plenty of napkins, and a palette to ooze my paint on and mix my paint. I use a piece of glass right here, and then occasionally I'll go through and pick off all the paint. Um, you can use a paper plate. It's really nice to find a paper plate that is the right size. You can slip into a Ziploc bag, and that way you can definitely paint and pause. This is a paint and pause. And so you can paint. You can go grab yourself a cheeseburger, come back. It'll be dry, and you can continue on. It's a glorious thing. So, let's get started. This is a pyramid, a triangle of skulls. And so we're going to start by just kind of sketching it out. Getting it all sketched out first. Alrighty. I'm going to take some yellow. We're going to use more yellow. So, as always, I use a lot of paint. And we're also going to get some white, brand new jug of white. Just broke it into it this morning when I was pleasuring myself by painting eyeballs. Yes. Um, while I'm over here, I forgot to mention that I just finished the miniature masterpiece right here. Do to do, do miniature masterpiece every 10th, 20th, and 30th of the month. And on the first Friday, it travels to the acute auction house for auctioning. Bids start at $50, and uh, it's a fun thing. It's live, 8 o'clock, Mountain Standard Time. Okay, we have our yellow, we have our white. Let's take this little brush right here, get it wet, wipe it off and marry a little bit of yellow into the white. We're gonna go over this. This is just kind of, a, this is a sketch. Just sketch it out and make sure that those skulls are in the right place, okay? So, <clears throat> I just have an off yellow and I'm ready to go. The first skull, and I'm just gonna work on doing circles. This one is pretty smack dab in the center and it's start with a circle. It's about right there, right? There's one. And hopefully you can see that. Basically we're going to build three circles and we're going to make sure that they are in the right place. Four circles, really. The fourth one's hidden. 
a little bit hidden. Comes down like that. I feel like I could even go a little bigger, perhaps. This guy's in the front. There we go. <clears throat> and then this one. So it even still seems like it's over just a little bit more with a little bit of gapage in there. So let's just. Better to get it in the right place now. Circle, circle, and then here's. That fourth one. Okay, great. Now let's get a little detail in there. Cause these are not oranges stacked upon each other. They're skulls. So, we go in. His jawline, get his jawline in. Okay, and then this guy is like over here. Nice, prominent jawline. Mm -hmm. Like a soul. Tad bit higher. All right. And this one's kind of strange. Little strange. All right. <clears throat> Paul Cezanne, 139 to 10, 1906. So he died in October. He uh, died of pneumonia, but had lots of battles with um, diabetes. All right. So we've got some detail in here. I'm gonna, I'm going to break out with a little bit of brown, a little bit of orange. Got my yellow. I have my white, and I'm going to start working on these two skulls down here, and the upper skull. It's just gonna be building up some colors. Even though that skull is white, we absolutely have to paint it first. But we'll get the base going on these two skulls down here at the bottom. Start at the bottom, the base. Good place to start. So orange. Okay. There we go. Still using that same brush, haven't cleaned it. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of brown and bring it over to this yellow. I want a more earthy yellow, dirty, dirt, dirt of the earth. Hmm, it's an interesting color. We're gonna go with it. Okay, starting with this guy over here. We're just going to start and get one solid color and then we'll go through with layers on top of it. So, 
also, if you don't get the skull right, we're going to go through with darks in the background. Um, so that'll really help make it pop. And a word from the wise. <laughs> I will actually, I don't know about that. But a word from me is, as usual, your skulls are not going to be exactly like Saison's, Paul Saison's. They are, they're going to be your own, so embrace them. It's all about embracing your brush stroke. Skull comes over to here. Uh, it's dark back in here, but we're going to get it painted this yellow to start with. Let's get all that filled in. If you pick some paint up and you have a little bit too much yellow, that's okay. Just get it all blended in. And it doesn't have to be a completely solid color in the background. But it'll be a nice start. Okay. So a couple things about Saison. This painting in particular, the subject matter was so close to the viewer, it, it's though it, it's staring at the viewer. Never before had he painted subject matter so close, so personal. It's just like, hello, you can't avoid it. You cannot avoid that stare. Uh, this was oil on canvas originally. Okay, let's go over and paint this other skull. Oil on canvas, 14 by 5 by 17.9 inches. glorious eye socket and it's about right there perhaps certainly I'm going to use a bigger brush Switch to whatever brush makes you feel comfortable. I'm switching to a bigger flat brush. I'm doing this big area, so let's get her done. Oh, glorious brush change. There we go. on there and the jaw is down near the very bottom of the page of the canvas all right there's those yellows I'm going to take my dirty brush and I'm just gonna get it right in my white whoa crazy lady and this, I'm going to work on the upper skull, which goes all the way up to the top. 
clean off my brush a little bit. Pick up more white. Come on down here to about right here, which is where we start cutting into this other skull. Ooh, that sounds creepy. And then the jawline comes over to that head. And see, I didn't do this detail over here. I just went with a circle and I'll go through and do that detail later when I do the dark. Okay. So this is the perfect thing to do for Halloween if you are at home and you're jonesing for a Halloween party, create one online and invite your friends, get dressed up, have fun, do a paint party. Everyone can dress as their famous dead, their favorite famous dead artist. I think I need to go up like that. Okay. There we go. And this is mostly dark. This one, but it has a little bit of light around the edge that definitely highlights it from the rest. So let's go through and get Get those marks in there. It's kind of squared off and then comes down. A little more brown. There we go. Squared off. Just get that blended in because it's all going to be dark. Both sides of that, baby. And we have some of that color through here. That's all dark through there. all dark through there. Just picked up a little more brown. There we go. Get some brown in there. All right. So let's travel back over here to the skulls two lower skulls and start building that up. I got the orange, I got the brown. I'll create a little color here. That's nice. Nice terracotta color. And I want to mute it down. So I'll do that with a little bit of white. I go over here. And 
and I'm bringing orange throughout here and there. Then I'm going to get my paintbrush wet, tamp it off just a little bit, and really get it blended. Squishy it through. Nice, a little more water. Acrylics are nice if you can catch them before they dry, you can really move them around. I'm gonna kind of splotchy it through there a little bit too. And I'm not too concerned about going over into where the dark is. Bring just a little bit of it up in here. Give it a little bit of nice yummy depth. And then there's this little bit of orange. What I'm going to do next is go ahead and pull out the black and and mix up a light gray and get those eyes and the nose where the nose is outlined so we know that that's a nice lighter color so I'm gonna bring it down into here too so we know where to be doing our highlighting okay all right so let's grab a little black or you know a little bit more than a little bit of black that wasn't bad on the scale of how much paint do i use okay taking another small brush going to take a little bit of the black and bring it over to the edge of my white. Black is such a strong color, go so far. I mix a nice light gray. Most of this is gonna be dark, but we're gonna use this nice light gray also in this upper white skull. So let's get it drawn out. Ooh, look at that. I have a little highlighter pen. Paintbrush right here. It's crooked. Hmm. But it'll do the job. All right. Picking up that gray. Let's look at where these... Here's that eye socket. So let's get that. Get that drawn in there. And then once we know for sure, we can absolutely add the darker blacks. Also, you can always make the eye socket bigger, but it's hard to make it smaller. Okay, that's where one is. And then the nose the shapes. It's this line. And then the nose. Okay. And the other eye socket is I don't know what kind of music you're listening to, but I have been listening to a lot of scary music and Van Halen, of course, a lot of Van Halen. All right, there's the other eye hole. I suck it, suck it, suck it to me. All right. This one is down lower. So I think that we, or I missed it, but that's okay, because that's all dark through there. So 
Let's just get the eye where the eye is supposed to be. Down here. Little wiggly. Can it be wiggly? It's the beauty of this painting. All right. And the other eye socket is up just a little bit. Like a so. And a beautiful, see, it's a spade. Looks like a spade for a nose. Bigger. Awesome. There's this outline of a eye right here. Okay, and here, guys, oh, staring right at you. Let's get that nose. I was going to paint my face like a skeleton for you today, but <laughs> I did not. I'll tell you, I've been watching a lot of TikTok and there are some amazing face painters out there. Wow. Cosplay. How much fun is that? Pretty much super fun. Okay, that eye socket goes all the way over to the edge. Oof. My, what big eyes you have. And up. And over, that's going to be all black. Excellent. Let's see. There's a snaggle tooth here. And here, and a good one here, and then it all just goes over. Yeah, all right, <sighs> scary. Let's get the other eye in there, it's a little bit higher. And a little bit easier of a shape, it's kind of like a circle that's been sat on. All right. Awesome. So now that we have that gray, I'm going to go to a brush that I originally mixed the gray with and go through and get some of that on this here skull. Here and there, and that line that's straight down the middle. It is darker, but I'm going to give it a little bit of depth here. All right. So brush strokes of that gray. And then his head is going to be going darker. All through here. It's windy outside today. So just getting some of that skull detail in there. There we go. There's a teeny bit of brown in through here. Let's get that 
blended with a little bit of water. All right, let's make that a little darker. Let's make a darker gray, just over on the side of the original gray. I brought some more black, a little bit darker. Oh yeah, I'm liking that. All right, let's see. A little bit through there, a little through there. Primarily through here. A little bit of water on that. strong that black is. Man, it's strong. Just kind of veining some of this off. going to make an even darker black. Bringing a bunch of black over to the edge of the white. I don't want it to be completely black yet. That'll be like the last little bit. But I'm also look, not looking for a gray. So I'm not completely mixing it. It's just kind of a little bit of gray, a little bit of black. I'm gonna go through and get these eyes. Now this one right here has a little bit of white through there, so keep that. Just get that white a little bit just to bring it down, blend it. And I'm going to bring some actual white in there, but it's better not to cover it completely with that dark color. Now this one on the other hand, we're going to cover. It's going to come all the way to the edge. Mm -hmm. Really, these skulls are starting to pop now. But that's all going to be dark, but let's wait on that. To the nose. It's okay to get wiggly and jiggly along the edge. You don't really want it totally perfect. Okay, let's get this eye socket in here. Very black. Well, not totally black, but you know what I'm saying? That dark, dark black that we mixed up. There we go. On over to here.
if you do have a paint party, I would love to see your paintings. If you really want some painterly advice along the way, feel free to have a paint party and invite me. I'll come, chat it up with y'all, give you some advice, encourage you, tell, tell you how awesome you're doing. Heck yeah. Let's get this. This goes. Like that. This is blended. Blend it, so we need a little water. There we go. It's very aggressive. So we will probably go back through. And um, lighten that up through there a bit. Okay, look at that nose. Put your nose in there. And right along the bottom. Jaggedy little mouth. Little smile almost, huh? Ooh, hi. here. And along here. Just so dark right there. Okay, let's get this other eye socket done. And be aware of this little piece. in and this guy fading out fade to black Get a little bit of black through here. Just get it around the eye socket. And the nose. The nose nose, your nose. Okay. Got wet. And then their 
there's this line that goes get that dirtied I'm going to pick up some of that lighter gray. Okay, blend it in with some of that black. All on here is dark. I'm just going to take my paintbrush, dirty paintbrush. Got it wet. I'm going to go through and just work on a couple spots here and there just kind of building up those layers Okay, let's go through now and with that gray, we need to make sure, get this piece of paper here, so comes down to here, and then all the way around, and then the other edge comes, goes to about like there. And then there's this other little area we'll work on that later this line over here shoots off like that okay let's pick up our back to our flat big flat pick up some white and let's get this paper or whatever it is that it's on painted. And we're going to be all dark up through here. We're actually going to have a little bit of shading and shadowing, but make sure that you get it that right where you want it. As far as where your skeleton is, your skull. Nice. We're gonna flip it here in just one second. So that we can get all the edges. Let's do that right now. Shoop. And just so that we don't get confused, let's do that. Okay. It's flipped. Let's get that paint where it needs to be along the bottom. Dirty white. Awesome. Okay, and then over here to this side is 
just it's like a, a little dirtier version of the white surface So I'm gonna go through and just pick up a little bit more of the black, a little bit gray. And paint the sides. Don't forget the sides. dark and we're going to even be going darker oh yes this is a very dark dark painting during a dark period of Paul Cezanne's life okay we want to make sure and get this along the edge although we are going to be going through Um, with a little shadow right along the edge. But we want it as close as possible. Okay, let's work on this orange over here so that we can get the entire top or bottom dry and we can flip it. Let's take some orange take some of that white over to the edge of our orange maybe a little bit of yellow in there maybe a little bit of brown in there Ooh, yeah it's kind of a nice color we'll do that there, it looks like there's a little blue squishing out too which I don't know where that blue is coming from okay it's a dirty orange and we're going to come right along the top. Paint the whole edge. These paintings, you won't have to frame. You can just stick them right on the wall about an hour after you're done. And you don't even have to frame them. They're beautiful. Okay, this color, let's bring all the way down to the skull and then it kind of goes that way. Paint around the edge. See, so now this is a great time that I can alter my skull. Then I, I'm going to. So I'm going to cut into my original skull. There. Sweet. Just going to pick up just a tiny bit of brown. Add it in there just to give it a little depth. Maybe a little yellow. And just kind of get those colors in there. See, it just gives it a little oomph. Great. So now we have to wait for the top to dry before we flip it over. But with that brown, I'm going to go through and do a little detail through here. I can even go through and kind of smudge it here. There, a little bit through here, and here. That. So whenever you mix up a color, just bring it into wherever you think you can or wherever you think needs it. 
Ooh, that's a bold stroke. Okay, so. I think that I'm just gonna put it on pause. Wait just a little teeny bit. So I can flip it and then we'll finish it. So go ahead and grab yourself a Snickers bar or whatever it is you need to do. And I'll see you back in the flash of a bulb. Okay, we're back. I don't know about you, but I had myself mm, six to 10 Tootsie Rolls. Let's flip this painting. Flip it. Flip it. All right, Cezanne, Pyramid of Skulls. Let's keep working on it. We're almost there, believe it or not. All right, I'm picking up my big brush stroke, my big, my big paint brush, getting it wet. I'm gonna get a little bit of this white Bring it down on here. And through there like this, like a saw around the edges. There we go. Excellent. I'm gonna come up through here, that white as well. bring out just a few little white spots here and there. So this skull up here is looking pretty darn good. Yeah. This nice little bit of white along here. And and along here as well. There's a little bit of um, some blue green that we're gonna be pulling out. Oh, don't forget those teeth. Those teeth. They're not totally white. A little bit of that yellow. Break out with my little brush. Look at the detail on those teeth. There we go. It's a real light yellow. Sweet. And then we'll darken around the edges. We'll do all that shading. First, we're just going to um, finish getting our colors in our skulls. Then we'll go through with all the dark and call it. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to start picking up, pick up that yellow brush and come in through here. I want to pick up a little bit of that brown. I don't know. Just need a little bit of work around this, this eye through here. This is all kind of all that darker kind of paused on. I don't want to go too dark. Okay. I'm going to bring a little bit of that lighter back in here. Right through here. through here, 
right through there. Just giving it a little, a little depth, a little shadow, a little bit of just not black. There was one thing I wanted to fix up on top that I just noticed. Yeah, that's looking really good. I think we just need to get that little bit of blue in there. Um, but I want to bring white in through here. Cool. A little darker through here. Okay, it's time for a joke. Why did the skeleton cancel the gallery showing of his sculptures? His heart wasn't into it. <sighs> All right, let's get a little bit of this color through here. I really like whatever color this is that we have created. It's nice. I'm feeling like might be time to move along. Yeah, okay. Put that other color down through here. All right, let's get a little bit of green and a little bit of blue. We're gonna do those highlights here and there. Up in the up in the top skull, that it seems like the blue is a little brighter maybe it's because it's in the back background black white background um but it it is two different kinds of blues so let's get some green let's get some blue oh i'm really liking that right there swoop swoop Squirrel, you can see shiny squirrels all day long. Brand new thing of blue, oh yeah. Hopefully it doesn't get me. I like to take the end of a paintbrush and just go all the way around the edge, peel it off. Bada bing, bada blue. Okay, a little bit of blue. I'm clearly gonna make much too much of this color. These colors. Okie dokie. Just gonna pick up a dirty brush. Ah! Do this post impressionistic, impressionistic painting. Picasso declared him the father of all of us. That's pretty huge. All right, I'm gonna take some green to the blue, a little bit of that dirty white, and we're gonna get what we get, and we're not gonna throw a fit. Mm -hmm. A little more green. Ooh, that's nice. There's this little bit of, it's just like that. A little scuffle through here. It's 
scuffle, scuffle. Through there, under the nose, over and through here. Yeah, now let's kind of blend that out. I'm not going to blend that piece. It's like through here. A little bit of wet. Alright, let's bring some of that green down through here, green, blue, there it is, it's, just, it's the same color, it's just different because it's on a different background, it's on the yellow. Alright, let's get that all smudged in there. Nice. More water. Oh, yeah, that's really nice. So then we have a little bit of blue along here. That's Fuji Roo through there. Here along the edge. It's just ever so little teeny bit through here. Up in through here. Let's get that. There we go. Nice. Very nice. All right, let's move on to the dark. We have some black here. I'm just gonna use my dirty brush. I'm gonna start right up here in the tooth area of this guy. Watch, this is all gonna come a popping now. It's all going to be black. Let's not worry about that. Let's go over here and get this blended in nice. A paintbrush and there we go. Just a nice little shadow along here, right? Just a nice little shadow. down into here. Okay, let's pick up that black. We'll come right along the edge of this here skull. And, and remember, we fixed that eye socket, so it's going to come down a little bit further. To there. Yeah, let's get that filled in. here that's black and a little bit along there let's get this shadow a little bit of shading
right to the edge. I'm just going to squish it. There we go. Wow, that was a big blob of black I just picked up. Whoo! Let's move on to right up here. A very black, none blacker. Black and then shaded. Line just comes right on down. All along here, some great shading. Get that wet. Perfect. there all right let's see keeping on keeping on this is get this back in here filled in All along here, all along this top skull, we're going to outline it with black. We're going to bring it all the way down. into there. Let's get all this filled in. This is going to be nice and blended. Bring it up to here. This is dark. All of this is dark. Okay. Get some blending. It's just darker, but with little height highlights of brown underneath. So, so we're going to get this in here and then we're going to get this just blended. Oh, it's starting to come it's supposed to be just keep getting water adding water onto it thinning it out and you don't want too much but it's just a dirty skull That's pretty good, huh? Um, okay, let's go back to that 
blacka blacka. We're gonna go all the way around. We're gonna fill in this entire area with black until I'm switching over to the big bonding brush. I'm gonna grab more black as well because we're gonna need it. How we go? Okay. And away we go. I know I'm gonna go all the way around this here skull. So, and all the way over to the other edge. So I'm just gonna paint the whole top black. There's some light stuff happening here. We will um, we'll build up on top of that. Okay, all the way over to this edge. Ooh. Along this edge. There we go. This is super yummy. Pay attention to this. That's where you've got that little square showing through. You don't want to go right up to the dark. Pretty darn close. There we go. Awesome. Super. Now let's get that line drawn over here. Get that filled in. Ooh. I love painting with black. It's super gratifying. I think it may be one of the most gratifying colors out there. Excellent. Get it a little bit wet, wipe some of that paint off. A little more wet. Just drag some of that dark Just down through there, up through there. Woo! Big brush. A very big brush. I'll bring some of that blue through there too. This paper area. Whoo! This is a big brush. I'm gonna switch over to this spooshy brush. I'm just kind of doing just that. That removes some of that. Ooh, I love that. That is delish. Delish. Speaking of which, there's some lighter colors going on through here. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of brown, a little bit of white, a little bit of hmm. Get that through there. Uh huh. Let that dry for just a second. And then wipe my brush off and just kind of get it through there. There we go. A little bit of that blue. Oh yeah. It's got a little bit of color in there. And I also wanted to bring a little bit of that blue down into her hair. And in the paper. A little bit of that blue. Ooh. Or a lot. Huh. Wet brush, clean it off. Brush it around a little bit. There, it's nice. Little color, just here and there. Good 
Okay, moving on. Back to the black. I'm gonna go around here. This is, remember we didn't do this detail through here. So let's make sure I get that little chunk out of his skull and the right wiggle. There we go. And then around to this side. Oh yeah. To this here edge. A little bit of a, the black comes down into that orange just a little bit right there. All right. Let's get that all filled in black. And then we'll go through and we'll do like we did with the other side with a little bit of color. Lightening things up. Don't forget your sides. Excellent. Okay. This big old blob of black dry paint or something. All right, so let's pick up. Wow, it's a cool looking skull. I'm going to pick up my little teeny brush. And when that's drying just a little teeny bit, I'm going to go through with my black and do some little bit of highlights here and there. Get a little bit of squishy black into all the sockets. in one place or another. Just a little teeny cracker. through here and along here. That being said, pick up, come on brush. Just do a little bit of, whoa. Little teeny bit of blending. All right. Tooth line. Just a little detail into each eye socket. No socket. So again, if you have a paint party, let me see your finished product. If you had fun today, like, subscribe, share, all that groovy stuff. I really, really appreciate it. Um, this is all free. So if I can get a little bit of, a little bit of love in the form of the liking and the sharing, that would be really awesome. All right, ooh, yes, there's this one. Oh, yes. Little 
little bit of blending through here. It's a little too bright. <clears throat> Take a look back. Oh, yes, I want to, you know, sometimes you just got to do things even if it isn't there. There is a little bit of a dark shadow through there. So I'm going to add it on. Okay, I'm feeling really happy about that. Go back to my big brush. up some white, some gray, get some color in this corner here. Try not to smush it around too much as it'll just turn gray. But we want to get some color in here. So white, browns, There's a, some blues up in this corner. Wow, that's a big blob of paint. Let's get some blue up here. Ooh. <sighs> Why did I do that? I don't know. But I'm going to fix it. Some white here. I'll fix that. There we go. Okay. All right. I feel really, really good about today's piece. I don't know how you're feeling. But it's time for me to sign. Again, please like, subscribe, share, all that groovy stuff. And, uh, We'll see you for sure next time. Let's see what color, what color should we sign in? Pick a color, any color. I'm going to do this orange. Oh yeah, good times, fun times. And I'm going to go back to painting eyeballs and doing all things creepy and Halloween-y. As creepy and as Halloween-y as I can possibly get. Hey, you could grab a marker. You could sign your name in a marker. I used to do that. But I kind of feel like I need to use paint. Also, I heard somewhere along the lines that Barker deteriorates your painting or something like that. I don't know. Let me know. What do you think? Comment. Give me some love. There it is. Paul Cezanne, Pyramid of Skulls, originally done in 1901, reproduced by Chrissy Noel Kinslow. 2002. 2002. 2020. Enjoy. Till next time, stay creative.